Hello, my name is Jess, and together with Avantika, Trisha, and Vivian, we're gonna talk about my feelings and what can we do to cope with our negative feelings. What we experience and feel every day is very closely related to our mental health. So first of all, think about the question: What is mental health? Mental health is the well-being of our mind. It affects how we think and feel about ourselves and the world around us. It affects how we cope with challenges and the stresses in our life. So, why is it so important? Mental health has to do with our emotions, and we experience many different emotions every day. So, it's important to know what these emotions are. And how can we deal with the negative emotions? So next up, let's look at some examples of different emotions. Think about what these emotions are, and when would you feel them? The first one is fear. You might feel fear after watching a horror movie. And the second one is anger. You may feel anger if you're having a fight with your friend. And the third one is joy. You may feel joy when you're having a nice walk. The next one is sadness. You may be sad when someone is acting rude or mean. And. The last but not least, there is disgust. You may be disgusted, for example, by the smell of garbage. Sometimes these emotions appear individually, but sometimes they can combine with each other to form more complex emotions, like stress. You may feel stressed when you have a lot of work, when you worry about something. When you fight with your friends or family, or when you feel sick or injured, stress can bring fear, anger, and sadness. Keep in mind that it's okay to experience all of these emotions, even towards the people that we love. But it is very important to learn how to balance your positive emotions with your negative emotions. So now that we know what all our different emotions are, let's talk about how we can manage our feelings and express them safely. Do you remember what emotion this is? That's right. This is sadness. So what can we do when we're feeling sad? Well, we can do something we enjoy. We can talk to someone. We can ask for a hug. We can color or write about our feelings. We can play with a pet, or we can go outside and get some fresh air. Remember, crying is a very healthy way to express sadness. If you feel like crying, it's okay to cry. So, what emotion is this? That's right. This is anger. So what can we do when we're feeling angry? Well, we can walk away and cool down. We can take deep breaths. We can count to ten. We can take a time out. We can scribble on a piece of paper or listen to music. Or we can talk to an adult. Remember, when you're feeling angry. You should always try and use your words and explain how you're feeling, instead of using your fists and getting into a fight. So, what emotion is this? Yep, this one is fear or stress. So, what can we do when we're feeling scared or stressed? Well, we can ask for a hug. We can talk to a friend or an adult. 
we can write down why we're feeling scared or stressed. We can listen to music. We can go outside and get fresh air. Or we can distract ourselves with something fun. Remember, when you're feeling scared, there will always be someone around to talk to. You don't have to struggle with your feelings alone. So here are some things that you can do with your friends and families in the park. In the park, we can cycle. We can do different sports like football or frisbee. We can of course go on walks or even bring our pets out for a walk. If the weather is nice, why not go for a picnic? There are also so many different types of flowers, different types of plants in the park. How many different color flowers can you find? Or how many different kinds of leaves do you see? Maybe even bring your sketchbook to draw out your favorite ones. There are also so many different kinds of animals in the park. Squirrels on the trees, the ducks at the swans, birds of all different colors. What other animals can you see in the park? There are of course so much more that you can do in the park and so much more to discover. What is your favorite thing to do? Now that we know the different things we can do at the park, how about we do them with our family and friends? We can share the everyday things, like the fun things that we do at school. We can support each other when we are down. We can talk about our feelings so everyone feels better. We can help each other when we have problems. And they can take care of us when we are sad. So remember, when we have our family and friends, we can spend time together outside, make happy memories together, and talk about our emotions. Thank you and hope everyone has a great day.